Hey, you guys. Let's do a um, grocery list tonight. And go through the um, grocery sale flyers. Have a relaxing evening tonight. Um, I think I have a little inside trick. Well, not really a trick, but an inside possibility. How to get um, uh, food items through Instacart that might benefit your pocketbook. Uh, I'll, I'll share with you my experience. And uh, think if, if that's something you can incorporate in your life. Um, Every Tuesday we get a mail flyer. Uh, it's always more of a fun flyer when all the is included. So we have all the. And let me figure out how many more days till 4th of July. They always put fun uh, food coupons in with the mailer when there's a holiday coming up. We have a uh, little Caesar coupon. Subway. Subway coupon. Burger King coupon. Oh, Wendy's coupons. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm going to give the strawberry frosty another try i'm gonna try a different wendy's location thinking of you crystal <laughs> um for those of you who remember we weren't happy with the strawberry frosty from wendy's the other night and a longtime faithful viewer made a comment and I kind of chuckled and I thought, I think she's right. Maybe I just got a bad strawberry from a bad Wendy's restaurant restaurant who in the past we've had issues with before. So um, not to worry. Um, so let's start off with all the and I'll I'll plug in my little Instacart. Uh, I never thought of this before, but obviously now with prices soaring and just, well, I think everybody's feeling a pinch, pocketbook pinch somewhere. Um, and this is not for the dishonest person. This is for your everyday Instacart, shop, Instacart shopper who does their best make a good list and and respond if the shop if the shopper has a question uh, so what has happened I think I've been with Instacart maybe two three years now many times we will get stuff in our bag 
that wasn't in our order and we never got charged for it. So when I call Instacart, I say, no, I'll leave this on the porch. You, The shopper accidentally put somebody's apples or somebody's soda pop in our bag. And since COVID started, they will not pick up anything that has been misdelivered. But they will thank you for the heads up. So just the other day, my daughter said, Mom, I'm just going to leave it on the porch. The guy dropped off like a hundred bottles of uh, some kind of water. And these big cases of drinking water bottles. And sure enough, same thing, they won't take it back. So in essence, we got all that water bottle, all those water bottles for free. Prior to that, the shopper brought us $18 worth of errors. We ordered um, organic strawberries, organic blueberries, blackberries, organic, a bunch of organic items. Not a single one was organic. And I just told him, I said, listen, you know, this was a good shopper, so I don't know what happened. He, unless he had someone do his shopping, but they told, they are so kind and you'll always get a live person fairly quickly. Um, you know, they answer with a recording and within minutes, a real person. I have never had one bad experience with Instacart over all these years. And um, I've also gotten free money from them. Um, when, when the same thing has happened more than once. For example, we get produce on labeled. Many times I asked for organic scallions, organic lettuce, organic honeydew, organic this and that. And they'll just pick it up. They don't even put it like in a produce bag. They'll put it in the shopping bag. No tag, no sticker, no nothing on it to say it's organic or non-organic. And I will call them. I said, this has happened now a second time. And so the reason I'm complaining is let your shoppers know that, uh, you know, I always try to help them out as they're shopping to put a little note, you know, reminder, make sure my items have a labeled sticker, information label. So they will refund the item. You know, honeydew can be anywhere from three, four, five bucks now. Then... I've gotten upwards of 10 bucks extra. And I always tell them, I said, no, you know, I'm not doing it for that. I, I've been with you guys forever. You've been more than kind to me every time I call. And they put it in the, like the credit section and you have a choice. Do you want to credit your Instacart account or you want the credit to go back to the original charge card? So for what it's worth, um, I've gotten a lot of freebies during this time where we're all um, in a pinch. Um, again, I'm not saying, telling you this for anyone to get a bad idea to think they want to swindle the company or anything like that. I'm just mentioning it as a fact. Mistakes do happen, and if and when they do, um, you can benefit. Uh, so there's that. Oh. I think we have close to 2,000 Instacart purchases been using them full time since COVID so that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of orders uh, so uh, Aldi is on Instacart as well I will be checking Aldi prices and compare them to Walmart for what it's worth, I've done all the homework. I've spent hours comparing 
Walmart really is your best buy, price-wise. Um, Aldi as well with some items. Um, so, you just have to keep your eye. I don't think the eye open. Oops. And B. Let's see. Uh, be a little bit more discriminating with your choices. And, uh, uh, Seedless watermelon. Um, that's a big question mark because um, we're here in California. And I have to say, I want the old fashioned watermelon with the black seeds. Um, they've um, re. Uh, what's the word? They've redone it so now watermelons don't have seeds or they have these little tiny baby white seeds. The taste has really suffered, in my opinion. For those of us who grew up in the 60s, we know what good watermelon. <laughs> we have one. And it's been so long. Even the little mini watermelons. Um, I've kind of given up, but I will give Aldi a try. I keep thinking the, the person or the store that comes back with this watermelon with the black seeds, I keep thinking they're going to make a big comeback, but what do I know, right? All right, isn't that? Two, five, nine. And, um, um, Fourth of July is coming. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Let's see. The making of this video, today is the 29th, Tuesday. Oh, excuse me, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, 29th, Friday, Monday. Oh my goodness, is the 4th of July on a Monday? There it is. It's a big um, weekend. I need, I need to call Loretta. So that'll be a fun video. Ah. Five more days. Can't believe. No. your bash on a budget. Fish balls. Are they fish balls? I don't know. It's kind of nine. No, I'm going to ask about their fried chicken. You know I'm a fried, a fried chicken enthusiast. Uh, I need to really get over the fried chicken. So bad. Uh, Ice cream. Five seventy nine on a tub. Five seventy nine. Um, I think you, you all know the ice cream swindle. See these buckets? And, uh, we used to always buy the buckets. It was always a gallon for five bucks. Smart and final. I'm sure Walmart sold it for a lot cheaper. Um, 
but the price has gone up, obviously $5.79, and it's not a gallon anymore, it's a lot less, but I think we're all savvy shoppers these days, aren't we? Um, Oh, and those little drumsticks. Seven forty-eight. Um, I won't be getting the jump seven forty-eight drumsticks. I got a Colorado. That's a good Loretta memory. I want to get the mini ones. Oh my goodness! I'll wait to share the drumstick ice cream story when I'm on the phone with Loretta. But uh, so look for that. I kind of have a hunch that's gonna be my next. Okay, so unfortunately, Aldi, they only have a front and a back of food items, and the center is all uh, like the house and patio and summer stuff. But, uh, oh, I, I think we do need these pickles. A different kind of a pickle. It's not close enough. Four forty nine. I'm gonna ask my daughter about these pickles. Four forty nine. Oh, they come in a plastic container. They have a different look and a different crunch, and she loves them. So I'm gonna ask her about those. been hearing fireworks um, California they're outlawed uh, it's a big deal I know uh, I was watching a live stream last week oh no it wasn't last week it was a couple days ago um, boom on a live stream and the guy goes Oh my, <laughs> that's always a fun moment when someone's doing a live stream and something unexpected happens. So he kind of let it go, but then the second one was so close to his window where he was at, he had to cut his live stream short and go check it out. And he did say he'd be back, but he wasn't. So you can imagine what we were thinking. But uh, I miss the fireworks. California firework years. Uh, oh, here's some. Oh, ribeye. That has really gone up. Have we ever seen ribeye at seven ninety nine on sale? So, is that the sale price? Um, the other thing we have to watch out for, every time I see an ad, I always think, oh, they're highlighting that because it's a item on sale. But again, you have to uh, be, you have to believe, scrutinize. Sometimes it has nothing to do with being on sale. They just want you to know that they have that item. So, um, oh, big question mark there. Oh, fresh cherries. Oh, I like cherries. And then they do have cents a pound. Mm, it looks like baked chicken. Mm. Oh. 
you guys seen Best Foods has a vegan mayo? Which should mean there's no dairy, no, no eggs. Now, let me know if you've run across that. I just happened to see it this morning on a, uh, on a YouTube ad. You know how the ads come prior to the video? Um, I'm going to check it out simply because I uh, mayo simply because we do have an awesome vegan mayo that we get from Sprouts. It's called the Veganese. But you're paying an arm and a leg. If we can go back to our brand that we love, Best Foods, uh, and vegan, of course I'm going to compare the price and we might get a better price from them. But still read the um, ingredients because I, I don't know if different companies follow different vegan rules. I really thought vegan meant no eggs and no dairy. Well, it seems to be an argument like eggs are allowed. But I could be confused as usual. Let's see. Um, Wow, is that cheap for cereal? $1.99 for cereal. General Meals. $1.99. That seems to be really cheap. No cereal. for five dollars that's a good deal so a dollar and a quarter for soda pop more for five dollars uh, soda pop uh, I'm gonna wonder if we could have fried chicken for for the July wonder why I haven't heard from Loretta What's going on with her? Oh, that's right. I wanted some Doritos. Bag. Um, we've kind of strayed away from Doritos. Totally forgot that the powder, you know, the taste and the flavoring they have on top of their Doritos is full of dairy stuff. Milk and cheese. Um, my husband was really enjoying Doritos with, like, tacos and, um, burritos. And I noticed he wasn't feeling as well. Bigger than beans, it was the Doritos that had a ton of dairy stuff. So, but, a few chips, like, once a week isn't a problem. And, uh, oh, pa wow, Powerade, 88 cents for the individual bottle, that's a good buy. Um, if you're interested, to me, Powerade and Gatorade are the same item. Gatorade, way more pricey every time. No matter what store you go to. Usually I can buy Powerade for like a dollar or 90 cents. It's always like 20 or 30 cents cheaper than Gatorade. But to find it for 88 cents. Thank you, Kroger Rouse. the right idea. They might not be jumping on the price hike bandwagon, knowing that all the other stores are, and that if they stay somewhat reasonable, 
they may get more business. Okay. Ten for ten dollars. I love the ten for ten at Grover. That's ten for ten. We have patties. Eighty percent. ribs. They may be pre-cooked. I was absolutely right about that. Oh, three ninety-nine for King's uh, rolls. Those King's rolls. Hawaiian King, Hawaiian King rolls. A few months back, I saw they have this, the uh, uh, sub mini sub sandwich roll. Oh my goodness, it that's like the perfect size. It's like two little slider buns together in to make up a mini submarine sandwich. And I have seen them at Walmart. They're out of stock a lot of time. I think they're that. They're that popular. Um, but I throw everything in those. Now, they made a gluten-free one. That would really be something, but for my husband at lunch, that's like the perfect size. I've been throwing tuna sandwiches, chicken salad in there. Deli meats. What else? Uh, Try to roast. Now that doesn't look like a sale item to me. It's like ten bucks a pound, my ninety-nine. We're trying to roast. And it seems like that has gone up. Um, it's Angus. That's probably why. Now I always notice Angus is a little bit more expensive. Bacon. Five ninety-nine bacon. Oscar Meyer. That seems to be a good deal. I am really happy with Kroger peaches. Sweet corn for $4.99. Now, but Four, does that say four count package of corn for four ninety nine? Four count package. That can't be. I'm calling them about that one. That has to be a misprint. So that's like five five bucks for four. Maybe it's a six count. I'm reading it wrong. I want to definitely ask about that one. Uh, but the peaches, two forty nine. Peaches. Uh, flowers. Ten bucks for fresh bouquet. Um, I think, though I always love to get fresh flowers once or, or at least once a week, I think I might, if 
if I have to think of what grocery store items am I going to be leaving out, it would probably be the, obviously the fresh flowers. I'd be saving anywhere from six, seven, ten bucks a purchase. Um, just spend more time, have my daughter search the front backyard for uh, some of our pretty flowers. If, if they're still alive, I tell you, California is on like this huge water restriction. Supposedly, you're only allowed to water the yard once a week. How's that going to work out? Hmm. Better ask her about that. Okay. Now this grocery outlet. Um, I always save this for last. I'm saving this for last. Um, they have mismatch uh, items. I notice. Like it's never the same or never guarantee. Um, it's almost as if they get the stuff that the other stores can't uh, sell in a timely manner. Let me know if you have a grocery outlet and what that store really is. Uh, I've just noticed that every time I go there, I don't get the feeling like it's your everyday store like Kroger or uh, uh, Martin Final. But I do keep it aside, and if I'm not happy with the prices from Walmart or Kroger, I'll check this place. A lot of time, this um, grocery outlet won't even have popular items. You can only get kind of offbeat items sometimes. Or maybe it's just a California thing. All right, so, Martin Final. No, three ninety nine for seedless watermelon. See, big question mark. Aldi has the same thing for a dollar cheaper. Another nice thing about Instacart, you have all these stores on Instacart depending on where you're located. We're here in Southern California. I think now we've got at least twenty five stores on Instacart. Twenty, close to twenty of them are actual grocery stores, and the other five might be like, I think Lowe's is on there, Office Depot or Office something. Um, of course, there's Big Lots, um, Family Dollar, ninety-nine cent store, uh, Dollar Tree. It's a smart final. So when you have that right at your fingertips. You can pick and choose what store you're going to be shopping that week because you know exactly what you're going to pay at what store. So you won't be surprised and you won't end up going store to store looking for the best prize. And $2.99 for boneless, skinless chicken breast. I get kind of frustrated with myself. Oh, here it is. There's the... That's just what I saw. Does that say vegan? The vegan mayo was in a bottle like this. Best foods. I can't really see if that says vegan. But like I said, I'm gonna go look for it. Uh, best food. Um, I get kind of <laughs> frustrated with myself. I notice that when I go through the ads, like right now I'm all excited about these skinless boneless chicken breasts. But then even if I do buy it, I'll opt for eating the fried chicken 
uh, and uh, my daughter and my husband will eat the healthy chicken. That's terrible. I need to follow through with my healthy uh, mindset when I when I have one. All right. have a better price on the soda pops for for a dollar the other store had four for five dollars oh no this ends up being four for four dollars so you're saving a quarter on each bottle okay I think we're done with smart and final Look at this. Ten for four dollars. All for corn. Right out of the gate. That caught my attention. And I'm you've heard me say this before. My opinion, Albertsons and Bonds are more expensive with their groceries than any of the other stores. Steaks, six eighty four. They're cheaper than look, and they're cheaper than Kroger on the ribeye, right? Um, probably our only sad thought about Fourth of July is. We miss being uh, with all the family, visiting our relatives in Indiana, because back in Indiana, fireworks um, were a big deal at 4th of July, and there was no ban on fireworks. And, uh, our kids had the best time. I did too, of course. But, uh, or maybe we can get back to Indiana, when things get back to normal, that would be a good poll question. Could we, like, will it ever get back to normal? And if it did, could it ever get back to normal? I kind of have a feeling in my gut, you know, call it intuition, but I don't think we could ever get back back to pre-COVID. That might be a, a little bit pessimistic, but um, I want to be hopeful. As long as they don't touch my fried chicken. <laughs> Eight peas. <laughs> Eight peas. Alright. And chicken. Oh, it's a digital coupon. But see, I went from a healthy chicken breast to fried chicken in a matter of minutes. The power of advertising. I'm still amazed. Oh, here we go. Six dollars for sunflowers. Fresh bouquet. That's gone up a dollar. Uh, the other ones range from nine to seventeen. Uh, so I'm just going to stick with the cheapest one if I buy it. Um, five for five. Mm. They have a better deal on bacon, boss. 
possibly for $4.49 and $4.99 for bacon. Got the five for five. And Fourth of July cake from the bakery. Uh, bakery. She wants cake or cupcakes. I don't know. Uh, cherries were a better deal on a Friday. If you go on the first, I have to remember that. Five dollars only on Friday. If it's not king crab, oh, it's not. Uh, um, we pretty much will only eat the king crab. It is seems to be meat worthy. Um, and let's do a uh, clipping coupons video. We'll have fun with the Wendy's coupons. Parker King coupon, smart. I mean, Subway coupon, El Caesar. Then we even have these little inserts. So, got our grocery shopping list. But I also want to do a Loretta. I gotta do a Loretta video. I gotta do a uh, clipping coupon. This has been...